Hello everybody, welcome to game 9 of the Cheeky Girls, 100 TV down versus Chaos, who's a stupid banger, Nicholson, glorious, um, let's get an apple because I might need it, he's got a couple of mighty blow, loads of block, so it's a boring team isn't it, it's actually not a stupid banger kind of team, there's loads of block, which is going to be, you know, it could be annoying right, it's going to get more knockdowns. He hasn't got any claws wasting, got any wasted TV and claws. Um, so yeah, this is this is this is better against Amazons than a normal Chaos team would be, but should still be easy because <laughs> it's Amazons and Amazons are OP. Yes, PC. That was that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Uh, thank you so much to Noalius for that. Again, absolutely unbelievable. And thanks to PC for inducing a death roller. And thanks for uh, thanks to Kill Bill for uh, overdogging a wizard. And thank you, Aureolensis, for staying fantastic for sixty-three glorious months. Do you remember the guy who did put his shoe in his head? I can't remember his the username. <sighs> Hello, Nicholson. Cheers. Have fun too. Yeah, coffee table man, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Can't remember his name, but it was hilarious. I mean, his his actual name was coffee table man, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Aqua King Man? Aqua King Man. I'm pretty sure. Is it worth protecting the Garda? Oh, I'm not not as stupid as I look, uh, Ori Lenses. Sometimes I remember, like, it's weird, man. Like, I remember rules. I remember rules. Like, I could probably rattle off the Avatar st avatar of Cain stat line from, like, 1994. <laughs> right? <laughs> just things like that. It's just fucking stupid. It's absolutely fucking stupid things like that. And then... And then other things... And then other things I can't remember, like, you know, a day later. I, like, or I'll walk into a room and, like, why did I go into this room? <laughs> Stuff. And God knows I could never remember anything when I did work at school. I've, I've said this multiple times. Or maybe I shouldn't say it because it's, it's, maybe it's illegal. I won't say it anymore. I, I might have cheated on some exams. <laughs> Not cheated, but just written reminders on my arms. <laughs> because I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So, you know, like that's pretty bad, isn't it? But like, yeah, rules. Rules are just crazy. I know it was 80 points. It was definitely 80 points. Um, okay, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember the avatar stat. Was it, was it weapon skill 10? I don't know if they made it weapon skill 10. Blood, blood, blood thirsters were weapon skill 10, weren't they, for a long time? It might have only been like weapon skill 8 or something. Was it strength 6, toughness 6? Probably. I know Wraith Lords were strength 10, toughness 8. 3 wounds, 3 plus armor save. 4 plus ward save, didn't it, the Avatar? The Avatar was disgusting. You could take the weapons off Wraith, Wraith, Wraith Lords. Wraith Lords. Yeah, Wraith Lords are the little ones, aren't they? Wraith Knights are the new big ones. You could take weapons off of Wraith Lords. So, so what we did for like... There was like a 500 point tournament or something. Yeah, it was disgusting. It was ridiculously, it was ridiculously powerful. So, so there was like a five hundred point tournament or something, or like a league in the games workshop. There, there was something a five hundred point thing. So, so we went, me and my buddy went with an avatar, three wraith lords, <laughs> and like two units of pathfinders or something. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, maybe just scouts, but like two, you know, two three man units. I don't know. No, pathfinders are three man, aren't they? But were they troops? Probably not. They might have been troops. So yeah, I think we went two into three Pathfinders because it was like the cheapest thing. And then... <laughs> what what craft world was that? 
Mm -hmm. Can't remember. They're the blue and yellow boys, weren't they? Blue and yellow. Can't remember. Can't remember the craft world for the Pathfinders. Ulfway was the Guardians and Seer Council, wasn't it? That was pretty disgusting. The Seer Council was very powerful. And Ayandan was the one that was meant to be for constructs, wasn't it, I think? But it just wasn't that good. I can't remember the, the craft world. Hmm. Yeah, that was probably before they changed rules to make it harder. There was a thing that I did back in the old rules, in the old days of rules, before, like, you know, it got more sorted out. Where, you know, um, a Latok, thank you, that's the one. There was, there was, what was there, um, oh yeah, there was no rules, like, you know, fr you know Frenzy in Warhammer? It doubled their attacks. And there was nothing that said you couldn't just double it and double it again. Um, which, you know. Um, so, there were, and there were, what was it called? Um, you had like Gifts of Chaos. So the, I took the gifts that... Um, that like doubled attacks and stuff, and then spend them all in the same turn. So that, uh. So like just double and double again, kind of thing. Very overpowered. But then you know they. They were like. You can't do this. Sad that I was too far back to get any disruption of any kind. What's the word? Um, dis destabilization. Yeah, Latok. They were overpowered as fuck. So my army, my army at fifteen hundred was an avatar, three wraith lords, and then just loads of three man units of. Uh, Pathfinders. So like your opponent's army just started off the board completely like the the whole army's in reserve. And then like something would come on <laughs> and it would get killed. <laughs> and then something else would come on and it would get killed. And then something else would come on and it would get killed. <laughs> it was brilliant. It was, you know, you bright lance any vehicles and then uh and the avatar could throw his sword at it and stuff, and then you know, any 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 troops just get pinned and and can't move, and <laughs> it was so it was so OP, it was unbelievable. That was probably the most overpowered army that I've ever had. It was ridiculous. Mm. Well, I guess technically the, the the corn one was more overpowered, but that was before they changed the rules. Once they changed the rules, it wasn't that good. Because, like, you know, it was just stuff like, you know, like, you got plus four attacks and stuff. And, like, there was, like, you know, like, there were, there were gifts like you get plus four attacks this round. And there's gifts like you double your attacks this round. So if you've got, you know, four attacks base and then you've got frenzy, so it doubles it to eight, what it should be is then, like, it goes to 16 if you use both. But I did it as it goes to 32 and stuff like that or whatever it would be. Can't work out. It, yeah, thirty-two. So it was like it wasn't what they intended. <laughs> but you know, who's to say if it was right or wrong? Oh, yeah, I remember when Dark Eldar were new. Yeah, I had a, I had a sick Dark Eldar army. And he's just he just wants to bang, doesn't he? I 
ils vont en découdre mano à mano, Bob. Pas ah, pour ça. Il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire. We need to put. <laughs> we need this guy needs to go in there and punch him. I have to punch him. But then how do I punch him other than blitzing with a guard? I could just dodge away from that, so I can blitz here. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Dodge away with this one then. No, I shouldn't have put that out. I deliberately put this here so I wouldn't be in contact and then just fucked it up. Well done, Jim. Great play. But I just wanted to be greedy and get this a little bit further forward because he had four, right? But I shouldn't have done. He should have stayed there and I could have pushed it away. Beat him off. It's funny because all I have to do is hold the line, right? And then he's got to try and get past me. But also, I'm trying to get past him because I think it's probably more likely I score than him because he's rookie chaos. It's not a slight on Nicholson at all. It's just it's Zons versus rookie chaos, right? Well, not rookie, but near rookie chaos. At this kind of 1300-ish TV, the Zons are so are so favoured, even against you know the four strength clubs. Then I'm thinking more about how do I score on his drive <laughs> than how do I stop him. <laughs> Lizard men have always been OP in Warhammer, to be fair. Funny enough, the the, the, the mixed the mix like the, the teams for Warhammer Army that we tournament that we entered would have been the best army if uh, my friend had bought the halberdiers that we've needed. That would have been a very powerful arm had he bought those halberdiers. Oh no, this I should not have given this hit up. Oh, look a dog. Yeah, it was. I hate it. When they when they had that that rule, what was what was the rule? Um, that fucking horrible rule that they thought of. Whatever it was. Steadfast. Oh, God. Oh, so dumb. So unbelievably dumb. No, steadfast was the worst. Um, it just removed all strategy from the game. <laughs> Is what it did. Yeah, everybody was always lead ship town. It just literally removed all strategy. Just entirely removed strategy from the game, yeah. Yeah, if you had more ranks, yeah. Oh no, I think if you're outnumbered. Maybe it's if you're outnumbered. It was outnumbered of more ranks, one of the two. I don't completely remember. I just know it was like the dumbest thing ever. It made me not want to play it.
<laughs> yeah, lizards just basically the whole army's unbreakable. But yeah, you know, you know, you've got a leader, you've got a, you've got a battle standard bearer. So like, pretty much everybody was unbreakable. It just made pretty much everybody unbreakable because because you know you've got a battle standard bearer, haven't you? So. It was incredibly stupid. Yeah, it was it was completely insane. Yeah, so there's no, you know, there's no point in like flanking people and like you know getting flank charges and stuff, because you couldn't break them. <laughs> so I was like, well, this is nuts. We'll just have a unit of forty halberdiers and nothing can beat us. And then, uh, <laughs> and he wouldn't buy the forty halberdiers. I mean, actually, what I wanted sixty, but I was like, forty will be enough. Maybe maybe it could have been sixty. Maybe I think it was forty. And, uh, so, you know, if we'd had 40 halberdiers, like, nothing, nothing is going to reach our lines with 40 men. <laughs> so we will always have steadfast. So I think it was, I think it was more, more men. Yeah, not just more ranks. Because we could do them 10, 10 wide, right? And then you got an extra, if you were 10 wide, you got an extra row of attacks. You got an extra, extra rank of attacks if you were, if you were 10 wide. So we could have just gone 10 wide, 4 deep. And nothing can break us. <laughs> nothing can break us ever. Or like obviously if it was if it was a rowdy army we could go five wide and eight deep. But against most things we'd be ten wide and four deep or whatever. It depends on it. Depends. And then just nothing can ever break us. And then like the ultimate tower and it's just and it's just shitty Empire men. Like literally hardly any points. There were like six points a model. Something stupid, six or seven. Points. So for like about three hundred points, you have a like completely unbreakable unit. Like it, that's insane, isn't it? Not completely unbreakable, but essentially unbreakable. Who could think that was a good idea? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were so dumb. Four. Really want to uh... Du corps à corps, chant que ça va me plaire. Il s'acharne sur ce pauvre joueur comme des halflings autour d'un sandwich. Little weak down here, aren't I? Down this side, especially if I feel this good. But then I've got four guys here. This stun's pretty big from going this way. He's got two free warriors this side, so I think it, it's pretty, this is still pretty strong. Yeah, it was actually insane. It was so crazy how. How powerful that was, but he didn't. He had handgunners. He'd, he'd actually bought the army off me. I had a, I had an army of a hundred handgunners, <laughs> and he bought the army off me. Um, so we we ended up going with 30, 30 handgunners instead of forty halberdiers. 
And then so I had to have a unit of 16 spearmen. <laughs> instead, so instead I would tarp it with 16 spearmen. Which is not exactly a tarp it. <laughs> or maybe 20. Maybe it was 20. Maybe it was 20 spearmen. Um, but you know, 20 spearmen is not a tarp it. It really isn't. Uh, so, you know, that didn't... It didn't like it's we we still we still should have won the tournament in fairness we still should have won the tournament but it was uh the army was nowhere near as good as it should have been uh, yeah i had a null army yeah well it wasn't really a null army it was just a fucking ridiculously overpowered army i had a hundred handgunners uh four cannons is that was the maximum i think it was four cannons and, you know, a level 4 wizard and three level 2 wizards. <laughs> it was at that time when you were allowed, like, one lord and three heroes. So, yeah, it was a level 4 wizard, three level 2 wizards, 100 handgunners, and four cannons. A very balanced army. <laughs> and, and, like, two units. Two units of pistoliers. No, it was, it was not an old army, it was just the most overpowered army I could think of. No one isn't known for having wizards, is it? <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. Fuwa. Bullshit. You can be mine. Muppet the leg end. Hello, Muppet. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. The zones are going very nicely, thank you very much. Really nice! They're rather overpowered. I don't know if you I don't know if you know this, um, Muppet, but everyone on the team starts with dodge. It's uh turns out it's pretty effective. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Is there a shitty guy? That's pretty good, isn't it? Let's punch him because he's fast. Sad. Norse in 2020. I don't know. Don't care. This is my. Uh, this is. This was. The, the, I like this blitz. The problem is, if he does this blitz, what else does he do? So I, I quite like leaving this blitz on, because while it's an attractive blitz to pin the uh, to pin this player to the sideline, hitting with block mighty. What? Do, where does the ball go? What do you do apart from this move? But yeah, I have no opinions on Norse. I, just... I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Thank you, Calcium. Yep, there's, there's my thoughts on Norse. <laughs> my continued opinions on Norse. <laughs> Unchanged.
What are you doing with this little fella? Wall to wall for goals. Sneaky warrior. <laughs> Be funny after I've made like about 14 dodges if he fails the first one he does. <laughs> oh, Blood Ball. Good old Blood Ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Yeah, okay. A dodgeless dodge! What about through here then? One, two, three. Oh no. no. Disregard. Mm, this is at four though. Means I don't want to punch him yet. This edge fork can go somewhere and do something kind of. Le porteur risque le plaquage. C'est le genre de situation que j'adore. Je crois que c'est le genou qui a cédé. Grosse pression sur le porteur du ballon. Il a intérêt à s'activer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could just punch. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm like a GFI. I mean, that is really good, to be fair. But then powering him means that this could get through. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, yeah, so you can just do it anyway. If it's a power. It's not. Didn't have to be a power in the end. Wonderful. Oh fuck. <laughs> I guess that's the bad thing about hitting with the edge is getting punched back. And of course not having the edge fall near the ball for next turn. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Though maybe maybe I should have tagged, but I don't want to give away a block mighty blow hit, do I? And I th I, I, tagging this guy would have been better later, but I thought I'd at least have something back in front of him just in case. You know, this doesn't work out, but it worked out very well. And another cheeky stun. 
time finally you fail something. Amazing. <laughs> that would be that would be top tier toxicity for sure. <laughs> That would be absolute top tier toxicity. No, oh, he might be able to break away here, mightn't he? Pick it up, go there, pass to this one. Turtle. Ah. Maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have hit this warrior and just dodged the edge four back as well. <laughs> well, he hasn't failed anything this turn. Fuck. <laughs> After all that, I finally sack the ball and just get space cadetted. Fuck's sake. Defended perfectly all half, then I finally make a play for the ball, and what do I get? Shat on. No. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Finally you feel something. <laughs> Wowee. <laughs> that was it. But like he had to do it to get it to so this one couldn't assist, right? Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. This guy cannot score. If he just rolled him, moved him first, right? He could have gone one, two, three, four, five there. And then uh, could have done that first before moving him. And then he could be a scoring threat and I'd have to dodge and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think the stacking's. Re the, st the stacking, yeah, the stacking was maybe. Uh, maybe not ideal. But not that bad. Okay, so we want to pass it to this one. Actually, I could just stay out of range, right, and then do the pass next turn. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lob it. Let's go. Maybe it'd be better to stay out of range, and then just next turn go six and do like a three plus pass or something. Another one in nine. Uh, that's the thing, because yeah, now there's no chance next turn. Oh well, a successful defense ish. There's a Kaz, maybe a KO. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, shut up. Reroll the 2D. I have to do the 1D without a reroll. Full pow on the mighty blow. Outrageous. Outrageous. Yes, probably Muppet, yeah, probably stacking that frustration. But yeah, I mean that was it was it was wrong to stack because if you like obviously it was the second one that you double won, but if you won the first one you don't get the second one. And yeah, should have moved the warrior first. Three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So count three D here. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's really hard. Yeah, I don't have enough. So this guy. I moves I should have fouled the beast man. This is so much better payoff though, isn't it? Should have fouled the beast man. <laughs> shitty gore. It's amazing that shitty gore is a default name. Yeah, I guess I should just find it. Because it's not over, is it? It's not over. Don't say it's over. Arch 4 can get 2D on the ball. Surprisingly, you can all blitz the ball pretty easily. Strength four. Hopefully, the mighty blow will do things. Set up, wasn't it? Four. Four. What a badass. Le saviez-vous? Les scavennes jouent entre eux dans de vastes cavernes souterraines. Chaque équipe a l'appui d'un clan majeur. Il y a les équipes du clan Strir, celles du clan Richine et ainsi de suite. No, diced. Comedy mega. Ah, il me parle plus pendant au moins quelques temps.
Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Jim ah, oh, rien, mm. je me It's annoying when they're doing an offset of OS. On est diffusé dans tout le monde en cabal vision au destiné et rien n'échappe aux spectateurs. I mean, the Blitz is worse, though. The Blitz is just definitely worse. <laughs> Ça sent la bonne grosse empoignade! Oh my god, nearly got fucked by the shitty game there. What a fucking horrendous otherwise. But at least still three rerolls, got the ball picked up. Yeah, fair enough. But I mean, I've scored one turn as after people have fucked up their perfect defence, so... <laughs> People can definitely fuck up perfect defences. <laughs> but I mean, blitzers can just lose you the game. Even even if you set up perfectly against it, depending on what the teams are. It depends what teams. Perfect defence versus like orcs and lizard men can be as bad as a blitz a lot of times because, you know, the strength and the guard and everything. Le combat paraît inévitable. Oh, that was a bit stupid of me, wasn't it? I should have uh, put that next one back, I guess. La vache! Ce joueur encaisse sans manger! Another pathetic turn of punching. Woo! But a man up at least. Did kind of suck leaving the block mighty facing a good player. What can you 
Bitte. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I just go in a bit over here? Hitting him is pretty good. I can go around the corner a bit. Maybe I just go around the corner a bit. There is terrible, isn't it? So I could move him first. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Beautiful. Beautiful cars. Hey. And while this looks like a Significant move over the side, it's still well, well movable back to the middle, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna three dice with my ball. Still don't get a knockdown. <laughs> Fucking zombs. God. What a disgusting team. Oh, there could be some deep penetration next turn. <laughs> Can't, I mean, this is this is good defense, isn't it? I guess I can blitz this guy, but it's not good enough. I can blitz this guy, but it's not cross enough. Um, I guess I'm still going to go over this way. Prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. 
What a fucking dicing. <laughs> Instant one in nine. <laughs> oh, lemon. Instant one. The only dodge I've made all match. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, but oh, oh man, it's tough, right? It's tough because I've got, I've got obviously, I've got a stream, right? I've got a stream. Can't stream out. Have to stream Blood Bowl. Have to stream Blood Bowl and not stream because of the way the ad incentives work. I think I'm gonna win anyway. So. Um, <laughs> nothing like a bit of cockiness, is there? Um, so I have to stream Blood Bowl for X amount of hours a day, and then the fucking Minecraft man. I really want to like the Minecraft's hard because I've got, I like I want to take it seriously. Like I haven't, I haven't taken Blood Bowl seriously at all ever. I've just played it a bit and streamed me playing it a bit. So like, there's a lot of work involved in the having a go at the Minecraft, and then obviously the the art commissions are just hard to uh, hard to fit in. But I do like the idea of them. Right, so there's more down here. Is there? No. There's four on this side and there's five on this side. But there's like so many dodges over here. There's got two strength four over here and only one strength four over here. So. Nice. Quite like banging him down. can go to there. Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I can't get there with him in the way. Shit. Works though, doesn't it? That works. Correct. Oh, roll the pow.
Yeah, well, it means he's got to use his options. To, he's got to use his actions to punch, hasn't he? Like he can't do anything with all these. There's there's four guys that he can't react to the ball. Plus, I could fail the dodges. So by doing this, I can't fail the dodges. <laughs> and he's he's got to dodge to get relevant. Or uh, or you know, not be relevant. <laughs> Or his two choices, aren't they? <laughs> and seeing as these are zones, there's a good chance that even uh, even getting punched, they don't even get knocked over. some safe moves first, but I just didn't want <sighs> Could blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I really want to make dodges, don't I? Blitzing this guy makes a lot of sense. But then also, so does blitzing this one and then blocking this one. Shit, wasn't allowed to do dodges. I guess that was a good defense by him and a bad offense by him. Got to be a bit of both, I guess. Then. Maybe he's mostly badly by me because I'm on his own. <laughs> I've got the easiest team in the world to do anything with. Right. Well, that lets us get the storm off now, doesn't it? You. Leur tourne et le coup de sifflet final va bientôt retentir. Hélas, le match est toujours au point mort. It's actually not over, is it? Because I've got to... Uh... 
Oh, I should have gone one up with him so I would have had the 2D here. Oh, that was terrible. 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 That would have called me the worst player in the world there. Three KOs this half. Only took one. But that was a bit dodgy that that run up the side was a bit a bit shit. No more than a bit shit. More than a little bit shit. But got away with it. 3D. I would have done if I was one nil ahead, yeah. Yeah, Muppet. But at nil nil, no. <laughs> we'll have no we'll have no ricking here. Four is the rarest, isn't it? Oh, Jay Yeah, sorry, I didn't get that. I didn't get that at all. <laughs> Invasion, one gold. Oh my god, I feel so ill. 
I mean, that was close. That could have easily been a 1 0 loss, couldn't it? That, uh, that double 1 on the GFI. And then my push and the 1 9 of the Dodger race. So that could have easily been a 1 0 loss. That was a good effort, I would say, by Nicholson. But, you know. Stupid zones, wasn't it? Stupid, filthy zones. Not getting banged out. Seven pals. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you need to roll. My block dice were great. Yep. But I mean, it could have been 1 0 loss, never mind a 0 0. Could have, it could have quite easily been a 1 0 loss. I mean, the 0 0 was pretty obvious, wasn't it? But it, it could have been a 1 0 loss, so yeah, that was. Whew. Way too, way too close for comfort. But get away with it. Tweedy is now three cas away from piling on. Kim, the lovely Kimberly Walsh is a tuddy away from Mighty Blow. Nadine's pretty close. The rest, who cares about them really? Right, 801, glorious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.